Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Battle to leave case behind, better rather, to leave case behind, and walk. Yeah, this is amble. So a better is a gambler. To leave case behind, well, the case of gambler is the outside letters G and R. And if we leave them behind or ignore them, we're left with amble, which means walk. There's only so much a bowler can take. Just wondering if this could be a cryptic definition for hatful. But I'm going to leave that for the moment. Yells about wound. Quite so. Nope. Forlorn. Being without ones, valet. I wonder if this is something less. If you're forlorn, you're without hope or you're miserable. So you could be something less. And without ones, valet, again, could indicate a word ending in less. I'm going to leave that in. Increasingly rowdy, yob almost upset wine. I think increasingly suggests a comparative adjective, so ending er, and upset wine, well wine could be red wine, so it could end der, and the whole thing means increasingly rowdy. Yeah, that's louder. And then yob almost, well yob is lout, almost is without the final letter. And then we have the upset red wine. So this, I'm going to put hatful in here. So normally a clue is definition and wordplay, but there's a specific sort of clue in which it's purely definition, but it's a misleading definition. And if you read this clue, you think that bowler refers to a bowler in cricket, but actually it's referring to a bowler hat. So there's only so much a bowler can take would be a hatful. Nothing will stop sweet academic. That's certain. Nothing is likely to be zero, or O rather. Will stop means to be in the middle of sweet academic. That's certain. Nope. Treatment of initially acute hysteria proven to work. Well, this looks like an anagram. Yeah, this looks like an anagram. Initially acute looks like the initial letter of acute, which is A. We're looking for 15 letters. There are eight letters in hysteria, six in proven. That gives us 14 plus the A of acute is 15. So an anagram of hysteria, proven and A. And the anagram indicator could either be to work or treatment. But I'm not getting that. Acrobatic performer making kids very excited. Nope. Grasses on European copper. Wow, tricky one today. If European is E, then there could be an E here. Fit, Soviet leader moving in. So Stalin is a Soviet leader, or was, and if we move the letters of in, in Stalin, we get install. So that E was wrong. And install means fit. So just to explain that, install means fit. The Soviet leader is Stalin. Moving in, if we move the letters IN in Stalin from the end to the beginning, we get install. So grasses on European copper. European could be, could still be E, but at the beginning, the grasses then follow. 
and we're left with something that means copper. Wow, what is this? Don't know. Companion, well-informed, about fashionable, porcelain. I think this begins China because companion is often a reference to CH, companion of honour in crosswords. And yeah, well-informed is aware, about fashionable, about in, and then China wear is porcelain. Husband, no longer wanting sex, in retirement. Gosh, not getting that. Nick A. Kandinsky, perhaps. Kandinsky being an artist. Nick. No. Nope, not getting that. A could be a reference to P, to P E R, per. So if it did begin per, this would be a P, and there is a P in proven, but I need more help with the crossing letters. Speak after cover up or disappear. Nope. Youngster knocking over girl's pint. This is stripling. So a stripling is a youngster and knocking over is an anagram indicator for girl's pint. Manages to get a hearing in these distant parts. Nope. Try to make Republican leader. That won't fly. This is rear. So try is here, as in hearing a court verdict. And then Republican is R. So if we take the word here and we make R the leader of that word, we just move it from last to first position, which gives rear, which is a bird which doesn't fly. Phew, this letter pattern R blank, E blank will have a lot of words which fit it, so that could have taken longer. Model, free to waste time meeting poet without family. Nope. Etonian pal mistaken for an Italian. This is Neapolitan. So... Mistaken is an anagram indicator for Etonian pal, and a Neapolitan is an Italian, someone from Naples. Accommodate, expert after change of heart. No. Wife, ignoring important figure. This is AT. So wife is W, the abbreviation. And important is weighty. So if we take weighty and if we ignore W, we're left with 80, which is a figure. And I know it looks strange, wife ignoring important, when in reality what we're looking for is important ignoring wife. But this, this sort of logic is just about, just about justifiable and is certainly used quite a lot in crosswords. Repudiate participants in Greek overreaction after upheaval. This is revoke. So to revoke is to repudiate. And upheaval is a reversal indicator. And participants is a hidden indicator. So in the middle of Greek overreaction, beginning with the first R of overreaction and reading backwards, we can read revoke. Stupid to restrict island's power supply. Nope. Model, free to waste time meeting poet without family. Well, 
poet could be Larkin, without family, without kin, that would give La, and an exemplar is a model. So, model is exemplar. Free is exempt, to waste time, well, T is the abbreviation for time. So if we take exempt and we waste the T, we're left with exem, exempt, and then meeting or next to poet without family, la. Now, no more help for 24 down. Accommodate. Yeah, surely adapt. Expert. After change of heart. Yes, an expert is an adept, A-D-E-P-T. And if we change the heart of that word from E to A, we get adapt, which means accommodate. Fantastic. That's the bottom right. Just about done. Speak after cover up. Already looked at that. Let me look at the across clues in order. Yells about wound or wound. Quite so. Really not sure what the quite so is referring to. And the whole thing, well, does it mean yells or is yells part of the wordplay? I don't know. Captain, given warning to turn back. Nope. Manages to get a hearing in these distant parts. Gosh, distant parts looks like a plural. But how the rest of it works? Hearing could be a homophone indicator, but I'm not getting that. Drink making you sanctimonious. Nope. Start to jeer with pressure on workers. Nope. Worry European drivers will go wrong way. This is care. So care means worry. European is E, the abbreviation. Drivers is RAC, a breakdown service in the UK with RAC standing for Royal Automobile Club. And will go the wrong way is a reversal indicator. Now, A and E, not particularly helpful, but can't do anything about that. Calmly, calmly dishonest, taking in English court. English could be E, court could be CT. So we could be looking for a word meaning dishonest about ECT with the whole thing meaning calmly. No. If the definition is calmly, it could end LY. That would place a Y in last position in this long anagram, and there is a Y in hysteria. They're not helpful letters. Let me look at the two new, f not floaters, crossing letters. Speak after cover up or disappear. No. Letter governor sent in to times Needing answer. Governor is, I think, His Excellency. I think His Excellency is the way that you address a governor, and that's abbreviated to H-E. So, times is T, or time is T, so times could be T-T. Needing answer, needing A, the abbreviation for answer, that gives theta, which is a Greek letter. So, some more unhelpfulish crossing letters. Start to jeer with pressure on workers. I think this ends up because pressure is P, the abbreviation, 
on workers on TU, which is short for Trades Union. So the definition is start is is start. And we're looking for a three letter word meaning jeer. No, but this P could be helpful. Stupid to restrict islands. Power supply. Gosh, power could be P. Yeah, I wonder if this is dispense. So stupid is dense. To restrict islands, well, IS is the abbreviation for island. And then power, P is the abbreviation for power. So dense about ISP gives dispense, which means supply. Great, some more crossing vowels. Calmly. Dishonest. Taking in English, court. Well, my ECT theory goes out of the window. There isn't space for ECT to be in the middle of anything. Calmly dishonest is not a phrase which means anything. So calmly, well, it's not a phrase which is going to have a single word which suggests that calmly is still the definition and dishonest is the part of the word play. So we're still looking for a word meaning dishonest. Taking in English, court. No. Okay, so what to do now? I feel I've looked at everything. I think this I may be new. Drink. Making you sanctimonious. I wonder if this could end milk. That would place a K in five down. No, we don't have a K in hysteria proven. Well, what I'm going to do is now look at the... Wow, 17 minutes down and there's a lot of empty squares in this grid. I'm going to consider the, the clues in order and hope to make some progress. And this E may be wrong, but Nick, which could be a prison, a Kandinsky, perhaps. I wonder what Kandinsky's first name was. Not coming to mind. But five down could begin with P. And it could be... It means either a treatment. I think it does mean a treatment. Or it means to work. And it's an anagram. There's, there's a lot of good letters in Hysteria Proven. There's a V in there and a Y. No, not getting... Ah, could it end therapy? Let me put this in and come back to Hysteria Proven. What are we left with if we remove therapy from Hysteria Proven? Well, that's a lot of letters of Hysteria are used, but what isn't used is S and I. S and I, so we are using H-Y-T E-R-A, everything apart from P. So S-I and Roven and A, aversion therapy, phew, got there. I would normally have a, a pencil and paper, but I don't think that's fair when you're doing an online solve. So what we have is, yeah, I think treatment is the definition. And then to work is an anagram indicator for the initial letter of acute and the letters in hysteria and proven with aversion therapy being the treatment. So do these crossing vowels help? Let's see. Nick. Okay, so A doesn't indicate per. 
Nick, a Kandinsky, perhaps. A could be a Kandinsky, just an artist. And the whole thing means to nick, which could mean to steal, or it could be a prison. Not getting that. Yells about wound or wound. Quite so. This, these letters look like they should be helpful. Ah, I wonder if wound is an anagram indicator for yells about. That's got the right number of letters. And the whole thing means quite so, which is absolutely... OK, I feel I should have got that a little bit earlier. Acrobatic performer making kids very excited. Excited looks like an anagram indicator for kids very, but is there really an anagram of that? And there is, it's skydiver. OK, so a skydiver is an acrobatic performer and... It's also an anagram of kids, very. Nick. Yeah, this is abstract. Kandinsky was an abstract painter. So a Kandinsky could be a reference to a painting by Kandinsky and therefore could be an abstract. Grasses on European copper. Wow, grasses could be rats or rice. But where's the European? Not at the beginning, not at the end. Grasses on well, on could be re, Latin for on. European could be e here. Copper could be d, as in pound, shilling and pence. D, the old abbreviation for penny in England before 1972. And copper could be a reference to more than one coins, hence ds. And certainly reeds are grasses. I think this is correct. Husband no longer wanting sex in retirement. Gosh, sex could be a reference to six because it's Latin for six. Wanting could be needing or it could mean without. No longer could be X. Well, yeah. Husband no longer is an X. Wanting sex, wanting it, old slang for sex. And then retirement is the definition, which is exit. OK, great. Just one clue to go in the right hand side of the grid. 23 minutes down. Manages to get a hearing in these distant parts, surely overseas. But how does the word play work? Yeah, it's to get a hearing is a homophone indicator. To oversee, spelt S double E, is to manage. And that sounds like overseas with an A instead of an E. And overseas are distant parts. Great, that is the whole of the right hand side of the grid done. And we do have some extra letters to look at for the across clues. So this does look like it ends L-Y because most synonyms of words ending L-Y also end L-Y. Calmly, could this be sedately? Dishonest, taking in English, court. Yes, dishonest is sly, taking in English, E, and then court isn't C-T, it's date. So sly about E and date gives sedately, which means calmly. And another crossing vowel, so many. Speak after cover up or disappear. This could be evaporate, I think.
because speak is orate, after cover, after pave, up, a reversal indicator, and evaporate means disappear. Gosh, this doesn't look helpful. Start, to jeer, with pressure on workers. We've dealt with pressure on workers, so the whole thing means start, and Blanco blank is a word which means jeer. To jeer is to mock. The whole thing means to start. Yeah, it's to boot up. If you start a computer, you boot it up. And to jeer is to boo. Fantastic. Closing in on the top left. This has been quite a battle. 26 minutes down. Drink. Okay, great. It doesn't end milk. Could end pint. Making you sanctimonious. So sanctimonious means pious, holier than thou. But how does that work? Pint has got pie in it. Okay, this could be quite a convoluted clue. Captain, given warning to turn back. Gosh, this could be a literary captain. To turn back looks like a reversal indicator of a warning. Well, what's a warning with E in third place? Don't know. Does this O help three down? Nothing will stop sweet academic. That's certain. Wow. Sweet. Ah, yes. Gosh. Foolproof. So nothing is O, but it's one of these O's down at the bottom. We'll stop. We'll be in the middle of sweet fool. A fool is a type of dessert or sweet. And then academic is prof. So zero or, or O rather in fool and prof gives foolproof, which means it's certain. So three orphan clues to go. Let me very quickly do my typo squiz. It would be painful to get one wrong after they've been so hardly fought for. Just going to, I have spotted something. Let me just consider the last letter of Skydiver. Acrobatic performer, and it's an anagram of kids, very. Uh, there is an R in very, there's only one R in Skydiver. I'm happy with that. Now the P does look helpful in 11 across. Forlorn, helpless. Being without one's valet, well, one's valet helps you get dressed. So this is a double definition. That's the first of the orphans. Second one, Captain. There is a Captain Nemo in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. Warning is Omen. Turn To turn back means reversed. Last one in and another helpful letter with the F. Drink, making you sanctimonious. Yes, so this is half pint. And this is a convoluted clue. I don't know what the formal meaning of meaning of it is, but the what I mean by convoluted is that the answer acts as the word play. So the definition is a drink and a half pint is half a pint of beer, so a drink. And then making you sanctimonious means if you treat the answer as the word play, you get to a word meaning sanctimonious. So if you take half of pint, you get P.I., which is short for pious, which means sanctimonious. So there we go. Every clue solved. Every clue explained. No empty squares. Submit. Submit. Hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. And comfortably within the 30 minutes. So what a super puzzle. This has been one of the... The, the stiffest challenges for a while. And this has been published over the Easter bank holiday weekend. And I sometimes think that the Times published slightly harder 
puzzles when they think people have more time available to solve them. But absolutely beautiful puzzle. And I certainly welcome the, the, the harder ones. They're more of a challenge and they're great fun both to solve and to, during the solve and to complete. And I felt slightly wobbly at one stage. It was a slow start and I felt I'd ground to a halt with half the grid still to fill. But then things picked up, especially after aversion therapy. And there was a massive amount of unhelpful crossing letters until finally foolproof went in and P and F are definitely good letters to have in terms of providing help. So absolutely super fun. I think the snitch for this could be in the 80s or the 90s, but absolutely great fun. I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next times.